So our guest is a Nigerian actress with over 20 years of screen and stage experience. The Ogun State-born Tespian has featured in numerous movies, some of which are Omotara Johnson, Olowo Gboboro, amongst others. She draws inspiration from local content, good literatures. Let's make welcome the very beautiful Tony Alausa. <laughs> Drum roll. Drum roll. Yeah. Drum roll. Yeah. Thank you for being here. Good I mean, morning. I thought we were going to move this because of the traffic and all, but you made it. So, thank I you. I had to because, um, I mean, it's my first time here and okay. I wouldn't want to disappoint you. No. So, so, what's your so, take on, so cute. Yeah, on the whole protest? Thank you. And where do you stand? Um, I stand with the people. I stand with every citizen of Nigeria. And I think this is long overdue. Actually, this is not the first time. <clears throat> Excuse me. I hope that our leaders will take the cue and do what is right. Mm -hmm. It's not just ending it because tomorrow they will come and say, oh, armed robberies have started. People have started looting. Oh, you guys said the police should be off the street. And then, and then they're Mars instead of SARS. <laughs> you know, so we just need to get it right. They have to get it right. That's why we voted them there. Mm. Um, we pray that they have wisdom to do the right thing. All right. So um, we're still speaking on SARS, obviously, because we saw a lot of celebrities jump in line and then they took action and all of that. And I'm sure you lended your voice one way or another. You didn't necessarily have to be on the street because we saw people being backlash. But I feel like everybody will play the role one way or another. Even if it's five people that saw whatever you put out there, it's a step in the right direction. But my question would be that you think that the Nigerian youths have won? A voice? Have won in, have won. in, in terms oh, of Oh, whether we have won. Um, it's not a total victory. Mm. But it is obvious that they listened. So they won partially. They've not won totally. Because there are still other aspects of governance mm. that they have not gotten right. Mm. That they need to get right. And we cannot keep keeping quiet. We need to talk. We need to speak out. We need to, if, we, the, if the protest has to go on, let it go on on other topics, not only on SARS. Yeah. So we've won, yes, but not totally. Mm. We still have more victories ahead to win. Mm. I know yeah. the art is a very strong medium to pass message across and also to help shape the economy or the society at large. So how would you, how would you advise your colleagues and those in the entertainment industry like yourself in coming into this conversation? Like you said, we do not need everyone on the streets or it's not necessarily possible mm. for everyone so to have be everyone on the on streets, the street. but yeah. we can all do something from our own corners. So how would you uh, um, advise your colleagues in this um, situation? Um, it's a general work for everyone. Mm. Uh, I mean, purchasing what you said about everybody not being on ground. Mm. I would have loved to be on ground um, yesterday, two days ago, but I was on set working. Mm. But I made sure I was posting. Right. At every free time I had, I would post, I would go online, check what's happening, what was said, right. what has been achieved. You know, drop a comment or repost or something. It's part of it. Yeah without having to Definitely. be on the ground. So back to your question, what I think we should start doing, like we do sometimes, is write stories based on these issues. Hmm. Okay, if you are not listening, if what the language we are not speaking is not understandable, maybe when we translate it through drama, uh. dance drama, um, television drama, um, documentaries, mm. what, what have you, when they begin to play before you on your screen, you can relate to it. I mean, for example, um, there's a movie that just came out and basically it was treating um, rape, no to drug abuse, um, ill mm. activities that the youth go through. That was what the storyline was about. And if you watch the story, you will see how it was woven to explain what we don't want and how it should be. Mm -hmm. So I think when we start writing stories and doing dramas and shooting movies that speaks about these problems, 
maybe they would listen also. All right, all right. So enough of um, talking about SARS, mm -hmm. the girl <laughs> child, in as much as this is a very important conversation mm -hmm. and they would never end. 20 years from now, we'll, we'll still, still be talking, talking about, about something the same else. issues. Mm. Yeah. Not the so, same issue. Let's not swear for ourselves, please. We'll talk about something no, else. because we've talked say, about this as from years ago. Yeah. 20, 20 years 15. from now. Probably yeah. not end SARS. Police then, brutality is probably something uh, we will we still be talking that about. We don't have to talk about well, police brutality. Well, we, it's, it's, 20 years from now, globally. Let's be hopeful. Yeah, yes, I hopeful. am. Answer your question. <laughs> yeah. All right, so back to what I was telling you about. Um, <laughs> let's focus on you now. Okay. You know, a lot of guys are watching and they're seeing this beautiful woman on the screen and they're mm. like, wow, she's so cute. <laughs> Who's really? that girl? They're probably singing and they're mine. And they're trying to know, what's up with you? What have you been doing? And I saw a recent interview about, um, about you where you said dating younger men is not a problem. So mm -hmm. I like to bring that into the picture. So in case anybody is out there that and wants to shoot younger. their shots ah. and they are younger, please advise them on no. how to go about the shooting <laughs> no. of the shots. Do I have to be a Ronaldo? Do, no. or I cannot be or, <laughs> or, 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 or an Ikbeba. No, mess is oh, big. Please. Okay, now, um, on that topic, mm. I think it was blown out of proportion. Mm. Okay. We all know that um, you can catch the love bug mm. somehow mm. from quarters you don't even expect because mm. love is a natural thing that you don't plan it. But I'm planning to. I want to fall in love. I like with. that. Wait. You know, you know what kind of thing. <laughs> These things happen. I mean, you meet someone, you flow with the person, and before you know what is happening, you yeah. people are inseparable. Okay, so I don't put age barriers to some certain yeah. things. Okay. I don't put age barriers to it. If you're happy, you can find your happiness from somebody younger somebody older i don't want to mention people's names but we've seen in this country nigeria where younger ladies got married to older men and of course everybody backlash but yes backlash them and even didn't Daniels even and that's the most recent in fact it's yeah. been happening over the years yeah, i know but let's even talk and, about the women now you know and even the women also all the i mean all the women fall in love with your parents mm. and they love them genuinely it's not because you so know? Laura Kosha. It's Laura possible. Kosha. Okay, so, so, so wait. It's possible. Me. Can you put your hand in here? Yeah? Hold on. So is it official now? No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, honestly, but it's have possible. You, have, you, have you experienced it? Is it something you have experienced? I have experienced it. Okay. Before. Would you want to compare that with dating an older man? And ha is this something you want to do again? For me, relationship you should be comfortable and happy in it okay and um if i did not end that on a bad experience mm -hmm. i don't have any reason to want to reject it mm -hmm. okay okay but if you have sad stories to tell i'm sure you would not want to try it anymore yeah so it's an individual thing so for me i don't do have I'll be, your, I'll be your good story. Don't I tell us about I the past. Was, I don't want to talk about it. Let's <laughs> okay, talk about going back, going back on set um, after COVID-19. How has that been? What are the measures put in place? What would you say you would want to see done better so um, far? Honestly, I must be candid. Mm -hmm. I've been on several sets after the COVID-19. And initially, it was quite uptight. Hey, um, makeup, you have to use your mask. Initially. Oh, you don't. Initially, yes. After a while, I must confess, it became more of we have to get the job done. Does, I mean, does that worry safety, you? It does worry me. It does worry me because safety should come first. Mm. And um, some people tend to get careless mm. just their natural way. It's not as if they're doing it intentionally. People forget their mask until you now get to a particular place that they now tell you, oh, without your mask, you can't you come can in. Come then in. you see people scampering about looking for their mask. Okay. So I know we're I mean, running out of time and yeah. I'm still talking about this profession. We see a lot of celebrities now who have had international trips and we know that these are like one of the most easy, uh, um, the easiest way to, to contact, contact coronavirus. And they're going on international trips and they're back and they're mingling. <laughs> I'll give you a typical example. Cesar Mili released over the weekend that he has he now has coronavirus and anybody who has been in contact with him in the last 14 days should go do a checkup. Now, how do you feel about that, that the fact that celebrities are still going out there and there's still being health risk to a lot of you guys? Like I said, it's, um, it's carelessness. Mm. 
It's carelessness because if you have it at the back of your mind that this thing is still very much out there and everybody is still prone to um, contacting it, you should be more careful. Some of us also had plans to travel, but right now it's at the back burner because you know that UK, US, and where have you are not safe. Mm -hmm. And um, how much prevention can we really have? How much um, care can we really take? You know, going to these places and coming back. Safely. Answering that question, if I may ask you personally, what are the measures that you are putting in place personally? Because even if the um, movie industry or the music industry is not putting these measures in place, what are you doing? The basic personally? ones, first off, I came in here with my mask on and I have my um, sanitizer in my bag that I mm. use at every opportunity. I make sure I wash my hands at every opportunity and um, I try not to get too close to people talking directly. So, a celebrity you haven't seen in six months and she can't. <gasps> Yes, she's trying to hug. What we, would you do? We, you remember COVID? Well, I do this, it doesn't work. Mm -hmm. I hug. I mustn't lie. We still hug. Okay, <laughs> so though. is that something you're working on? You want to share with us before we go? Um, for now, I have a series of jobs to do. Um, a lot of jobs are on the pipeline for me. And um, I thank God for that, for the grace. I can't do any of my own personal projects for now because I have jobs lined up. Mm -hmm. I mean, till December, it's wow. quite tight. So, That's good business. Uh, well, thank God. <laughs> and <laughs> thanks to my fans. Also. Money, money. <laughs> so, um, but next year, I'm, I'm starting off tight from my own project. Okay. Everything I had down this year that I couldn't achieve, I'm delving into it with my team. I hope 2021 doesn't surprise us. Because uh, no. 2020 was a shocking, <laughs> yeah. rude, shocking surprise. Okay, so. thank you so And then look much. forward to, you didn't tell them about our union. Okay, and that's how we wrap up <laughs> this episode of Tea Time. It's been an amazing conversation. Thank you so much also to all our guests um, from Chidi to William and Ayo who spoke on um, the girl child. Thank you. And of course, thank you as well goes to my um, co anchor Ife Oluwashoke and Ife Omai who had to step down and our guests sitting right here. Thank you. Thank you for being here. <laughs> thank you very much.